What have we done to be honored by an interruption? David and Wyatt need to know that their bus is leaving this afternoon at 1.15. You could have waited until lunch to tell them that. I could have forgotten. Michael, Make I Make sure your sweatshirts are clean. Last week you looked like an ad for Brand X. I know this class... Yes. What? What can I do for you, my loveliest of lovelies? I would like to have a class. This is the result of women's lib. In Ethiopia, they keep them in corrals and sell them like cattle. Would you like to take a little trip to Ethiopia, my darling? <laughs> I think we've uh, uh, finished our class for today. Perhaps we can try again tomorrow. Equals 13. Carry the water. And this is where the fat is stored. And these three lobes here, one, two, three, liver. This is the heart. Ooh, looks like it's still beating. Maybe it's still alive. Perhaps another line of work would suit you better, Jerry. Perhaps in a library. Why are you staring at me? I hate the smell of those things. I hate the school. I hate this mildewed part of the world. I hate islands. I hate water. I hate children. I hate pianos. And I hate you. So what? So leave. Put this place on the market. Give me my half and I'll leave. And I'll quit smoking till the escrow closes. This place is worth two million dollars. I spoke to some resort developers. They say they'll give us three for it. Three million dollars. Divided between us, that's $1.5 million each. You could buy Juilliard or Carnegie Hall. This house Hall is just not for sale. I love these terrific talks we have where you try to see my point of view about things. My great-great-grandfather built this house. Oh, please, let's not have that old song again.
please leave me alone. What'd you do? Strike out across the hall again? Ow! Stop! Ow! You're an animal. And what are you? The local saint? Your husband is getting worse. Well, I don't believe it. Sit down. Oh, look at that. Well, why would he do that? What is he doing? He's digging his own grave. That's what he's doing. His own... Oh, I gotta get gangrene from that lech. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. Let's sit down over here for a minute. What are you doing this weekend, wench? What did you have in mind, lover? Well, uh, anything. I'm going to Portland. I got room in the car. <laughs> well... I'm very expensive. You'd have to rent me by the hour. That's what I like about you, Vicky. Your subtlety. Your finesse. Yes. Yes. Who's looking after the pygmies? Don't call them pygmies. Please. She isn't feeling very well, and I wanted her to sit down. Now, is that a crime? I fear for my life when the two of you sit down together. <laughs> You've got a bizarre sense of humor, Jerry. Why don't you try it out on the pygmies? Now. Yes, sir. Say nice things about me, girls. This weekend. We can't do it. You wait and see. Well, I can't do it, and I won't. You will surprise yourself. No, I don't want to talk about it anymore. you out on the field for the same reason you aren't i hate mr elliot i don't hate mr elliot oh well, you should there are things that you will understand i hope not when you get a little older the only thing i don't understand is why you don't divorce him nor is it any of your business Please, tell me. You're so serious. It's a little complicated. You see, if I did that, then I would have to have a property settlement and, and I'd have to sell this school. That wouldn't be any worse than it is now, would it? I think it would be. I was born in this house. 
Why'd you marry him in the first place? I was young and he was almost as beautiful as you are. Mrs. Elliot was for three o'clock, I think. Yes, sir, it is. Instead of coming here, report to me on the field. We'll do some hurdles. For the whole two hours? For the whole two hours. you like these boys you knew he was supposed to be outside and you brought him in here you deliberately got him into trouble will be at 8, inspection at 8.45. The bus for the ferry will leave at 9.30 sharp. If your rooms don't pass, you miss the bus and miss the ferry. Coats and ties are required as usual, leaving and returning to school. The first ferry on Monday leaves Seattle at 7.15 a.m. If you miss it and don't return till Monday noon, you get eight, that's eight demerits. You're not eating. I think that's all. Claire? I don't think that that falls under uh, your duties or responsibilities as the athletic coach. Why aren't you eating, Claire? I don't care for the dinner, Michael. You haven't tried it. It's delicious. We are here to set an example. Then perhaps we should mind our own business. We should eat our dinners. I'm not hungry. You should have your dog. Eat. No. You can see why Mrs. Elliot is pale and fragile and unhealthy. She doesn't eat. You can see why she has a bad heart. She doesn't eat. You can see why her hands tremble. She bursts into tears at the slightest provocation. She doesn't eat. What shall we do with Mrs. Elliot? Make her eat. Make her eat. That's a good idea. Would you leave her alone? What do you put up with him for? Are you a masochist or something? Every day he gets worse and worse. And you just, you just sit there and take it. What can I do? You know. I can't. You've tried everything else. No. Claire, it'll... It'll be so easy. I've got everything worked out. I can't think. I don't know. The it's all six o'clock in the morning. We'll take the station wagon. I'll be
Vicky, I can't. You have no choice. Am I interrupting a tender moment? Get out of here. What kind of a performance was that in the dining room? What are you trying to do to me? Make an idiot out of me in front of all those kids? Castrate me? Then what earthly use would I be to either one of you? Come on, Claire. Apologize. No! What should a man do with a woman who always says no? Finds himself a woman who always says yes. Let go! Don't you touch on me! Michael, you're hurt! Michael, don't be out! <laughs> oh, Vicky. Vicky. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll meet you, all right? Six o'clock. It's all right. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. for the staff early? It, well, she was. She, she's gone. Her coat's gone. Yes, yes. Well, yes. where did she go? Who'd she go with? Miss Vicky. I, I thought you knew. Of course I knew. What'd you think? I don't know. Tell Mrs. Marsh to get my breakfast. Yes, sir. And get this garbage out of here. You know, when we first got married, I expected to be loved, protected and loved. And I was laughed at and eventually ignored. Well, that's better than being brutalized. Now you're being brutalized. I used to actually hate you for taking him away from me. <laughs> he doesn't need me now either, except as a punching bag. It's beautiful. Well, it's not going to be so beautiful when he puts 300 prefabricated vacation homes on it. Tomorrow, I can tell the developers to just go drown themselves. Of course. And then maybe we can really run the school the way it should be run, the way I dream about it, Vic. We can we can bring the boys in and, and take them to concerts and, and and maybe teach them about how this pier is run. And and museums and zoos. I've dreamed about that. 
I don't think I can do it. I know if I think about it, I'm not going to be able to do it. Vic, I just get dizzy. <sighs> Will you just relax? Everything's going to be fine. Okay? who's moving up from Portland. He's with the post office, a supervisor or something. Why don't you let me help you with that? Okay. You know why? They don't have any kids. They're nice, careful kind of people. And they're looking for a place to rent, furnished, you know, mm -hmm. until he decides if the job's going to work out. So I was telling him about your apartment and about you working out on the island. Here we are. Calvin ought to be healthy. Oh, that's all. Like the game. Would you lock the car, please? Well, this reminds me of school. I think they're a wonderful addition. Yes, I do. You see, there were seven columns in this hallway. And what do you think of automatically when you think of seven? Um, War! Yes, right. of course. The only trouble is the kids take them. Oh. We've been real lucky. We've gotten them back up to nine. I've been up with Mr. Turner for months to put, you know, rings in the floor and chains around them. I don't think that would subtract too much, do you think? From the overall effect, do you think? No, I don't think it would subtract at all. As a matter of fact, it might add. Who's she? She's the headmaster's wife. Oh. What did you do to your eye? Oh, my eye. Can I come up later and tell you about it? Mr. Turner won't mind, will he? No. I'd love it. Okay. See you later. How are we going to do anything with all of these people, Laura? Well, what do you mean? How else are we going to prove that we were here? Well, suppose somebody sees them come up. Nobody will see them. People come and go here all the time. Hmm. Wait a minute, Vicky. I, 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 I've forgotten everything I have to say. Wait, let, can, can I have a cup of tea or something? I'm not ready. Yes, I'm We've ready. rehearsed it enough. Mr. Elliot, um, yes, there's someone here who would like to speak to you. I'll make you some tea. Damn it, Vicky, where the hell's... Claire, are you there? Michael, stop it, please. Uh, let me just say something. I didn't call you to get yelled at. I'm not trying to make a fool out of you. I, I just, I want a divorce. Well, I spoke to another lawyer and, um... And he said, there is some way. I didn't make that up. No, I don't understand it myself. Um, he said that he was going to come over this afternoon with the papers, and I thought that if, if he came over, then maybe you'd come over too, and then we could get the whole thing all finished. Uh, I mean, well, I don't know, Michael. Uh, make something up. For heaven's sakes, for a million dollars in your own freedom, I think that you can invent something, couldn't you? What? Hello? Oh, he hung up. Yes, he's coming. I don't think he's going to come. Yes, you got in the bit about the money, so he'll be here. 
and see there's a ferry coming at 2 o'clock. That means he'll be here between 4.30 and 5. Just in time for a drink, right? How do you joke about it? He's just getting what he deserves. I think I better get that started. It'll look a little better. I'll ruin the rest. Drink? Oh, no. To us, success. <clears throat> oh. Vicky, really? <laughs> You'll never notice. is enough to put an elephant to sleep. Absolutely no side effects. Now, um, we better get the basket out of here. Come on. Already? Well, yes. I mean, the laundry basket in the middle of the living room. Come on. The bathroom's right in here. Unhook the shower curtain and turn this off when it's closed, okay? This is left. Looking at the defensive line of it, looks like goes back to pass. Looks to the left, throws to the right. It is complete. The now, what would somebody be taking a bath this time of day for? He's down to the 35, and he's brought down just short of the 30. Did you say something to me? It'll be our first attempt. Both I'm out of beer. You're always out of beer. Line. Oh, no. There. Now I'd better go. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't you stay until he comes? No, that would put him on the defensive. Now, look, you look divine. You really do. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? I'm going to be upstairs keeping Mrs. Turner away from the window. Away from the window? I thought you, you said it would be all right if the neighbor saw him coming. It's just better this way. Well, if it's better this way, then why don't I try? Claire? When you grow up, Now, breaks the huddle. Vicky! Hi, am I busting in at a bad time? Who are you kidding? I've got right six side. dozen now, cookies to cut out of the church. Oh, my God. 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 Is this all you have? Yes. I hope I can get you a cut, but all I have to say is... Coming back after being 12... Griffiths. Sneaking out in the middle of the night with that, that. You know what we're going to do? First thing Monday morning, we're going to fire her. She's nothing but trouble. Why couldn't the lawyer bring the papers to the island? Where is he, anyway? Uh, what is this, Claire? I just wanted to speak with you. 
Michael, I thought... There isn't any lawyer. Well, yes, there is. There is a lawyer. He's going to... He'll be here any minute. What's his name? Uh, Russell uh, uh, Edwards. What's his phone number? Well, why do you want to call him? Well, I want to see if he's left the office. I want to see how many drinks I can have before he gets here. It's Saturday. And uh, he, he's not... He's going to come from home. I told him it was an emergency. What's his home phone number? Well, I don't know that. Well, then what's his office number? I'll get it from there. There won't be anybody there now. You really shouldn't try to lie to me, Pigeon. You aren't any good at it. Now, what's going on? Do you want a drink? No, not, no, wait. I missed you today. You smell good. You know, you put me in an awkward position at the school. Yes, I, I know. We could have talked out there. You didn't have to make an idiot out of me again. I want a divorce. Do you? Really? Yes. That's what I want. It's been impossible for you, I suppose. I really don't know where we went wrong. We had something there a long time ago, didn't we? You were magically beautiful. You still are. Wait. M uh, Michael, maybe, um... <sighs> maybe... We could try again. Maybe we could make it work. I, I'll try if if you'll try. Just please, just tell me that you will. Do, just say that you are, all right, please? Just... Say. Oh, for God's sake, Claire! Michael, please, please just tell me. Just tell me that you will. Give me a towel! Michael... Gotta go to the cleaners now. Michael, please just say that you are. Please... Give me another drink. Talk to me first! It's him. Did you raise your voice? Pour me another drink. More, you're not paying for it. You know, Claire, I've been talking to my lawyers, too. They are now of the opinion that your father's will is invalid. He can't leave the decision to sell or not to sell community property solely up to you. So, since I know it would break your heart to see your precious house leveled and your beautiful land divided up into vacation parcels, I will grant you your divorce. And I'll send your share to Rome or Madrid or Crete or wherever you choose to live. Will you, uh, want to level the house to? It's a white elephant. It's impractical. Nobody would buy it.
Charlene O'Brien. Remember her? They busted her about two months ago. Did you know? Uh-uh. For murder. Murder? She was living with this Oriental. You know what they say about them. I guess it finally got to her or something, because she killed him. No kidding. Killed him dead. How? I think she tied a sack around his head while he slept. How'd they catch him? <laughs> you know Charlene. Five minutes later, she was blabbing it all over town. My head is... Uh... You know, I think I'll lie down for a minute. He didn't even ask for it. What's wrong? What are you... Burn this ticket and flush the booze. He's asleep. At his feet. Well, he's talking. I mean, he's he is sound asleep. He's just dreaming. I'll get his feet. His feet? I can't carry him myself. Carry him? Will you uh. pull yourself together? We're wasting time. Now get his feet. Oh. oh. Vicky! Oh. 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 
something heavy. What? I don't know. I don't want to have to hold him under for the next hour. Get something! No! Uh, uh, a lamp something? How can you hold and get one of those cement things? about. Where's your girlfriend? I thought she was having a nap. Oh, well, she's taking a bath. Oh, is that so? You girls take baths at the strangest times. This morning, my husband heard the water running. See what I tell you. Grumpy's gone. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that a crime? You ought to have Mr. Turner fix up some of those... Uh, yeah, things. but I'll get Grumpy back before tomorrow morning. I'll make you a small bet as to who it was. You can't pull anything on this one. I've been around too long. I wouldn't bet against it. Good night. Good night. Guess who almost tripped over these? Oh, no. I told you to put them on him. Didn't I tell you to put them on him? I'm sorry. Put them on him now. Now? They are his boots, and if they find them on his body back at school, nobody's going to believe her. It'll be her word against the facts if she saw them. Couldn't we bring him back tonight? If only you hadn't forgotten the boots. Everything else has gone like clockwork. If we brought him back tonight, then it would be done with, finished. It'd be such a relief. Couldn't we? Please. No. Obviously not. This whole thing hinges on our being able to prove we were here tonight, all night. So when they find his body back at school, they won't suspect us. Now I'm going to have to make up some story just in case she saw the boots. Get his other foot. Get it. Want to get under the covers? Right. Do you want some tea? What are you going to put in it? I'm sorry. Please talk to me. Please just sit down. Talk to me, all right? Stop running around looking official. 
want somebody has to. It bothers me. Hmm? Things easy if he wanted badly enough. What do you want? What? Everything. What is everything? Um, a sunny day, a stack of fifties. I don't know. Come on, Vicky. Tell me. Somebody who won't let me get away with the games that I play. to love Well, <clears throat> it certainly isn't my husband. My late husband. What you got in it? Uh, well, I, I found a cider press, and I'm going to make a planter out of it. Oh! Listen, there's some rope in the back of the car. Get it. Hey, I got a footlock about the right size. You want to switch? No. I'm not using it. No, really. Well, it sure would hold up a lot better than this damn thing. No, that's all right. Well, I'm not using it. Hey, Martha, go bring that big footlocker down here. No, forget it. Hurry. Well, why don't we just unload it out here on the uh, uh, Just one moment, please. We're in a hurry. Thank you very much. We're in a hurry. Well, it won't take five minutes. Okay. Get the last ferry. Why'd we have to wait until the last minute? Now we're getting into rush hour traffic. We're gonna miss the damn ferry. The whole thing is gonna backfire. We had the whole day. Yes, I can see us driving around Seattle all along with a dead body in the back of the car. Well, we're right on schedule anyway.
Sarah, you need some help? Oh, uh, no, no. I've got everything under control. Brought your lunch, huh? <laughs> so, uh, you think you'll be through with that before dark? You're, you're a riot. <laughs> you're a traffic hazard. We're trying to make a 7 o'clock ferry. Yeah? Good luck. Yeah. Hey, there's something leaking back here. Yes, I left the back window open. The rain must have gotten in. There's something wet in there, too? It's, uh, it already was uh, wet. It's my laundry. It's, uh, you see, her dryer never did uh, uh, work over the weekend, and it never got dry. Come on. Uh, we're going to miss the ferry. I'll put that away for you in just a minute. Well, that looks awful heavy for laundry, I'll tell you that. Okay. Thanks a million, officer. Catch a cook for us tonight, will you? from the window. would do better. When's it going to come up? I don't know. It should have come up yesterday. Well, why don't you know? 
You're the expert. You've got all the details worked out. Well, it's not exactly my fault that he hasn't come up yet. You should have prepared for any possibility now. What are we supposed to do? Nothing? Just... Nothing? What else can we do? here, I guess. Claire and I were in Seattle. I didn't see him. You expect me to believe that? I don't expect anything of you, given today's performance. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. How can anybody lose to Trumbull? We've always beaten them. They haven't got a guy that weighs over 30 pounds. We can't beat a carpet with Jerry coaching us. We can. He doesn't do the shooting. All we have to do is remember what Mr. Elliot taught us. Ah, uh, fooey. I don't care. He's a great coach. He, he, I'm going to live with two women when I grow up. How come he hasn't come back if it was such a good deal? He needed a rest. Or maybe he's got even a better deal somewhere else. Seventeen brides carrying watermelons. <laughs> Yes, I am. You're not. You haven't been listening for three days. What was I playing? The sonata in D major. Wrong. Well, then play it. That's what you should have been playing. else has to find him. How is anybody going to find him if he doesn't come up? Well, I... I'll think of some legitimate excuse to drain the pool. Will that make you happy? Yes, it'll make me happy. Very happy. Just remember him as he was and be glad. Drowning! 
Mr. Elliot's lighter. Didn't you see that there was the keys? They're swimming around in the fog down there. Oh, all right, come on. I'll get out of the way. Get the keys. You go get the keys. You know, Claire, maybe you should have the pool drain. What? Oh, oh I th- I'll have it drained. That, uh, that's what I'll do. That, all right, I'll have it drained. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll call now. him, please. Thanks are gone. there. Drink this. You'll feel better. Dr. Linker's coming in a little while. You looked. Did you see him? No. Well, where is he? Dead bodies don't just disappear. I mean, we're going to find him. There's got to be some explanation. There's just got to be. Now, drink this.
finished now. Are you all right? Who are you? What are you doing here? Well, whose room is this? None of your damn business. Get out of here, both of you. Uh, uh, I found that in my husband's jacket. Your husband, huh? Please, tell me when you saw him last. He sends me a check in the mail every month. He keeps the key. Does he use the room? He rents it. Is all I know, all I care. If you want to ask questions, ask him. Well, how long has he had the room? A year, maybe more. The man was found yesterday in Puget Sound. The man, Caucasian, about 35, had dark hair, was six foot one, and weighed 160 pounds. He's not been identified. He, he appears to have been in the water several days. How did he get out of the pool? Do you think we're being blackmailed or something? Where are you going? I'm going to Seattle. I'm going to go to the morgue. No, you're not. Not without me. Oh, yes, I am. What if it is Michael? What are you going to do? Throw yourself on the floor and foam at the mouth? That's insane, Claire. Where is Michael? Claire, you are not going to know what to say. You're going to blow the whole thing. You're not invited. Why am I suddenly the enemy? You're not suddenly. You always were. This man, I think that I know him. From the description, I know a lot of guys look like that. Oh. Could I um, see him anyway, please? guy you say he is. Does he have any identified features? No. Right shoulder, left shoulder? Um, birthmark. What else? That's all. Below the right kneecap? Oh, uh, scar. He got that, um, in a hunting accident two years ago. Medical ID? No. Are you sure? Left wrist? Oh, uh, no. No, I guess it's the wrong man. Wait a minute. When did you say your friend disappeared? Five days ago. Did you follow missing persons? We live on the island. Um, he goes off for a week sometime. Hunting or something. Without telling anybody? He wouldn't tell me. Your boyfriend. My husband. 
Okay, you didn't report him missing. No, I didn't. I don't know why I didn't. Jack, this is Clue. You take out 428 for viewing, I'll be right down. isn't here. He took my slingshot away and told me... You are lying! Why do you lie? I don't lie. I was trying to get a quail over there, but I missed, and a rock went through the window up at the top. See it? Mr. Elliot took my slingshot, told me to rake up leaves till dinner time. Mr. Elliot isn't here. He was... Look, when you decide what actually happened, you come and you tell me, all right? All right? But I'm telling you. You're telling me a lie. Come on. Come on. Quiet! 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 Qu
Take your ties, please. And your hair. All right. Water guns away. Mr. Griffiths, come on over here. They're going to think I'm Mr. Elliot. Fat chance. Yeah, all right, everybody look this way. I'm going to count to six. At three, you're going to say gorgonzola cheese souffle. Loud enough so you can't hear me count, but not yelling. At one, two, three. Gorgonzola cheese souffle! We have to take another one. Keith, what's your story this morning? But I told you the truth. Look at that fellow, forceful, austere, dignified. Look, who's that in the window? <laughs> oh, it must be a flower, something on the paper. It won't be in the prints you order. There's sometimes flaws just in the proof paper. Oh, Vicky, wait. Well, I've got to talk to her. If she's not any better by morning, I'm going to take her to the hospital. Are you serious? Is she that ill? Yes. I'll be by about 10 in the morning. All right, thank you, Dr. Nick. Okay. There, you see there? Now, I'm getting us both out of here and I can have us packed before lunch. He's dead. You see there? Isn't that Michael? <laughs> I don't know. We have to go. You go. You go away. I don't want to go. I... I just had enough. If he's alive, then he can do what he wants. And if he's dead... I don't want to talk to you, Vicky. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Claire, do you want me to call Dr. Linker back? I want you to leave me alone. Call the doctor or something. Do you need your pills? He's dead. The doctor? Michael, my husband. No, he, he couldn't be. Yes, 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 yes. He has to be. He has to be. Has to be? I don't understand. What are you talking about? He has to be. I killed him. What? 
drugged him, put him in a tub, and pushed his head down until he was dead. Completely and entirely dead. And brought him here. And and put him in the pool. <laughs> in the swimming pool. Everything went wrong then. We drained it. And all that was there was a silver light and a cigarette light and a silver cigarette lighter. Then he was in Pooch. No, but that was somebody else. He was in the picture. He was he was in the picture. But he couldn't be. He couldn't be, because I killed him. I killed him. Michael, please, please. They're going to electrocute me. <laughs> That'll be a relief. Who else knows about this? Do the police? Vicky. 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 She worked it out. And she won't tell, and I won't tell, I swear. They're not going to electrocute you. Don't worry. I wish they would. But if they killed you, I'd kill myself. You silly. You can't. You're a brilliant pianist.
finished? Finally. Wow. Was she tough? Oh, you're sopping wet. You're gonna catch your death of cold. <laughs> away from you. He did. And who gave it back? Mrs. Elliot. Mrs. Elliot. When? This morning. Keith, Mrs. Elliot died two weeks ago. What do you lie for? I don't lie. You know I don't lie. And I suppose Mrs. Elliot also gave you permission to kill the quail? She's just stunned. 